Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Dilima and today we are going to make this beautiful royal blue peacock painting. All the materials required to make this beautiful glass painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativearthome.com which is my website and you'll find also more creative beautiful paintings in my website and in the very next video i'm going to publish how i have framed this beautiful peacock painting using this golden frame so enjoy painting friends so let's start our painting friends first of all we have taken a black and white and now we are going to place a transparent ohp sheet on our black and white photocopy you can also use glass if you want to now using cello tape i'm securing the four corners now using 261 metallic gold liner i'm going to start lining up the image border I'll do the whole lining part and I'll show you how does it looks okay Dear friends you can see that our outline part is completed now using a cutter I'm going to remove all the secured tape after removing the tapes I'm going to place it on a plain horizontal surface on a white colored sheet so that you can see all the colors which we are going to fill it up with we're going to use heavy acrylic glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades Let's start coloring part. Well, for coloring the peacock feather, we'll start from taking a light blue color and giving a very small coverage. Then we'll use the ultramarine blue color. Now we'll be using parrot green, which is a very light green color for putting up this part. Then finally we'll be using crispy green color color on this part. And the last border or the remaining will be covering it with a bit brown color, okay? In a similar way, I'll be coloring the whole feathers and I'll show you how the beautiful feathers look.
finally I'm going to use a golden liner to cover this part. Outside the boundaries of the eye, which will appear as white. So here is our painting completed. And the few details, I'll fill it up and I'll show you how does it looks after it gets dried up. Okay, here friends, you can see that our glass painting has got dried up completely. So I'm turning this out for you so that you can see how beautiful it has come up. Here you can see a clear overview of a beautiful glass painting. To more beautify this image, do use a plain simple aluminium foil and do frame it using a colorful blue color border which will more beautify this image. Uh, but this is not the end of the video friends, I'm going to modify it more. You can see this is how simple it looks. And when we are going to do our fluid flow effect on this very simple painting, it will become more colorful, beautiful and attractive. So keep watching. First of all, uh, we are going to use uh, some opposite colors as this were the cold colors. We are going to use hot colors like red, pink, orange, yellow. And I'm also going to use a simple purple color to beautify this image. We'll first of all uh, take a color pour it on the side and using this blowing straw will blow the color okay so I have poured some orange I'm also using some pink okay now it's ready to blow using the straw that's it in the same way we have to blow different colors Make the combinations. So here is our beautiful glass painting completed now so I'll let it dry for at least 12 hours and I'll show you how does it looks okay here you can see friends our beautiful painting has got dried up completely now so I'm turning this out for you it took about 12 to 15 hours to get dried up completely so you can see the full view of our beautiful glass painting. Do frame it using a plain aluminium foil as a background and any favorable color border as a background to more beautify this painting. If you did like this painting friends, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.